Lochador, the titan that will make you reconsider your close range build. If Lochador aims for the beacon, you better give way. DSC Military, a door decisive, one sided solutions. Their new frontline titan provides just that. It brings a ton of firepower to a critical position on the battlefield and stays there no matter what. This bulky combat machine slowly chugs towards the enemy lines. Menacing, but not very impressive. Yet. True action begins when we use its primary ability. Lochador activates its thrusters and hurls itself forward. It deals area damage on arrival and applies suppression to everyone caught within 100 meter radius. If it lands right beside you, the explosion will deal increased damage. If it lands right on top of you, well, never stand still while in a fight. Sometimes the enemy morale will be high enough and they will commit to holding the beacon. For such turn of events, we've prepared something special. The first proper area weapon. Cinder. As long as you push the button, everyone around you takes damage. Most of your opponents will prefer to disengage, leaving you in control of the beacon. Now that Luchador captured the territory, it's time to hold fast and repel counterattacks. The secondary ability provides Luchador with a reflector shield and delayed repair. It will have to remain in place though. Not that you would like to leave this beacon, it's yours and you have all the means to hold it for the rest of the fight. But Lochador has to have weak spots, right? It's a slow titan, optimized for close-range weapons and territory control. So you've probably guessed about counterplay already. If Lochador holds to a beacon, leave it. There are four more on the map, and nobody can win with just one. By the time Lochador gets to the next beacon, you can already seize the initiative. And the mobile raider robots on your team will recapture what the Titan has won. Anyway, don't forget to always be on the move and happy hunting, commanders!